Okay, so we've got your name. We've got you on Facebook with a bunch of pictures and prices and all that. It's your free website. We've got you official with a DBA or an LLC. We've done your market research. You know what you're going to buy. You've gotten quotes from people. Now you're going to start getting calls. So what do you do? So people are going to start calling or emailing. And you got to take down all their info and you got to get everything correct. You got to get their name, their phone number, their email address, the delivery address, the date of the event and everything that they need. So what I've seen a lot of smaller rental companies do, because you're only owning a few things, maybe one tent and a bunch of tables and chairs or two or three tents with tables and chairs, you don't own that much. So hopefully you can keep track of it in your head. So the customer calls, you take down all their information, you go home, you jump on your computer, you open up your Word document, and your Word document has everything on it, your name, your phone number, your email address, uh, maybe your logo. And then underneath, you're gonna have to do all this manually. You put the, the items they need, 20 by 30, $250, eight tables, $8 a piece, $64, 50 chairs, $1 a piece, $50. And you total it all at the end. And then you email them that quote as fast as you can. Because uh, the faster you do it, the more likely they are to go with you. Then when they confirm it, uh, you get payment, whether that's check or credit card, or uh, they stop by and give you cash. You put that file in a folder that says confirmed orders on your, on your computer. I would also print them and have a big stack of them next to my desk, all in order for the summer. So I could go through them and kind of look what has to happen. If they call up and change anything, then you go on the computer, change it, and email them the changes with the new price. Then I would print another copy of that and replace it. Then I would also have a calendar appointment book. You know, each page has one or two days on it. So you got this big calendar appointment book. Once an order is confirmed, I would write down all their information in that calendar appointment book. So when I'm out on the road and someone calls, I could see in that calendar appointment book what I had left. So I'm not telling people that I have this left. Uh, I would just kind of know what I would have because I was small and didn't have that much stuff. So that is like the easiest, cheapest way. As I expanded and got more stuff, I needed to make this process faster and easier. So I kind of knew Excel, so I built an Excel sheet to easily make orders quickly and do the math for me. So my Excel program method was basically the same as my Word document method, except the Excel program did it all for me. And then when I had to send them a quote, I would just copy paste all those Excel uh, cells put them into the Word document and send it off. So now my step of actually building the quote was a lot faster, but my keep, way of keeping track of it was the same. It was all in a Word document saved to a folder on my computer and also printed out. And every time something changed, I would print it out again and replace it. Now both of those ways are easy and cheap, but you do run across overbooking because sometimes you forget everything that you have. So, I eventually moved into a rental program, which is going to be more expensive, but when you're first starting out, you don't necessarily need it. So rental programs, there's lots of options. I was already established in making lots of money and overbooking things because my other methods were just being inundated. I was getting too big. So I straight up purchased a rental program from a company called the Rentmaster. It was $1,000, it was a one-time purchase, and I own it, I can use it whenever, but, we live in a day and age where now there's a thing called cloud computing. So you can actually subscribe to a rental program that is all based online. You can access it from any computer, anywhere, any ones. You can access it from your phone or your tablet and you just pay a monthly subscription. It's a good option when you're first starting out. Maybe once you start making more money, then you can buy one straight up. But this subscription service is a good option for starting out and you can access it anywhere. There's a whole bunch of them. There's Good Shuffle Pro. There's Event Office. There's uh, Inflatable Office if you're doing inflatables. There is... I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them. But uh, they range about 50 to $70 a month. And you know, you're not starting with that much money. So this is a good way. If you want to immediately jump into a, a rental program, you can get into it relatively cheaply. So that's it. This entire video was just about how you're gonna keep track of your orders that are coming in. Whether you're small, starting out, you only got a few things, and you only use a calendar appointment book, 
or you pair that calendar appointment book with a Word document that you can email people and then keep track of that Word document in your computer, also print out a copy, or you know Excel and you can build an Excel sheet that automatically does all the math for you, copy and paste those Excel sheets into a Word document so you can mail them, email them a quote, or you straight up go buy a rental program or subscribe to a rental program or any other way that you can think of that will help you organize all of this stuff. You just have to figure out where you are, how much money you want to spend, if you are capable of keeping track of everything. You have to keep track of everything. That is like one of the most important things. This business is based on logistics. You need to know what's happening, when it's happening, and how to make it happen. Thanks for watching.